Somebody uh, recently asked me how some hummingbirds can survive here in the winter months in this part of Canada. Well, we do have things that bloom here in the winter months. So uh, right now it's late autumn, so it's December, and we have the fatsia trees in blooming. We have so many uh, fatsia trees. They are blooming all over the gardens, okay? And then the next thing to bloom will be sarcococa, ruscifolia, hummingbirds like that. And uh, we have fuchsias blooming right now. I mean, there's always something uh, blooming around here, even in the winter months. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the eucalyptus tree. There goes Wendy. Um, we have eucalyptus trees blooming here, and I think some of the big ones are blooming as well. But uh, these ones have been blooming for a while. And here's another one that just came into bloom right there. So eucalyptus flowers. And then we have skimmia. I think there's skimmia maybe blooming as well. I know they have berries on them. But uh, you can see the eucalyptus flowers right there. And uh, like I say, there are other plants that bloom here in the winter time as well. And uh, the hummingbirds will always find something. And if some people put out feeders, we don't. We just let them rely on Mother Nature's uh, flowers, not plastic flowers with uh, sweetener in them. I mean, that's fine too if you want to do it, but uh, then they do rely on it. So they, they can find their own means of uh, food in the winter time here. And uh, like I say, there's always something that is uh, going to bloom. So uh, Kelia blooming right there, and uh, you can see the uh, these are setting up buds, the camellias, and some of the fatsias in full bloom, and some of the other fatsias are just coming into bloom. And uh, this is citrus. This is the this one's going to bloom with more flowers on it too, right? The uh, kumquat, lots of kumquats on it. So there you have it, folks. There's always something for our hummingbirds to eat here on Salt Spring Island in the winter months. And check this out. Check out these fatsias. They're just really spectacular. Fatsia japonica. They're everywhere. Somebody else said, well, you know, you got them under your overhang. Well, do they look like they're under our overhang? There's the overhang in the house. It's very tiny. These are sticking out everywhere. So I want to plant more of these. I just love them. I grow them from seed too. So collect the seed from these babies and uh, propagate our own. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel. Cheers.